The first step in tying up this intersection model is to ensure that my profile for secondary street ties into the edge of pavement here on either side of primary street. Now if I pan over, you can see that I have the proposed profile drawn in this file, but let me select this for just a second. I'm going to go to Geometry Editor, and then I'll bring up the tabular view. You can see all these values are grayed out. I can't change these. That's because the profile's coming in via a data shortcut. So to make a change to this, I'm going to have to do it in the host drawing. Let's keep that in mind for a second. What I'm going to do, I've already got a top surface for primary street. So let me come over to Prospector here. We'll open the Surfaces category. Here's that surface. Let me right click. I'll go to Surface Properties, and I'm going to change the style. Let me drag this down. I'm going to choose Triangles 1, 1, Existing Orange. I'll click OK. That shows up nicely on screen. What we're going to do is we'll pull a surface profile through this top surface from Secondary Street. That will show us in the profile view here exactly where the crossing is. And then we can make our profile conform to that. Once again, i got to make the changes in a different file. So let's take, we'll save this drawing as it is. I'm just going to come up and click Save. Let's add this top surface to our project. On my Prospector tab, I'm going to come down to Data Shortcuts here. We can see that we're in the project that ends in 00002. If you're not pointing to the same project, you can go to the Manage tab. And then we'll go to Set Working Folder. We want to go to the C drive. And then we want to go into the E directory and select this folder called Projects. This is where all of the CAD projects are located. Let me click OK. Once you've done that, we can choose Set Shortcuts Folder, and you can select the project that ends in four zeros and a two. Since I'm pointing to the correct location, let me click Save here again. We'll save the file. I'm going to create a data shortcut of this surface so that I can utilize that to pull a surface profile in the other drawing. So let me choose Create Data Shortcuts. I'm going to go to the Surfaces category here. Let's create a data shortcut for the primary street top. I'll click Add, and here on the Prospector tab, if I come down under my project now under Surfaces, you'll see I now have access to the surface in the other file. So to open the other file, I'm going to select my alignment. I'll right-click, and from the menu, I'll choose Open Source Drawing. This will take me right to it. Once the file opens up, I'm going to make sure and select the tab so I can see it. Let's share that data shortcut into this file. I am going to drag down here to Surfaces. Let's go to Primary Street Top. I'll right click and choose Create Reference. We will reference this in and we'll go with a border, maybe with the purple outline. I'll click OK. There we go. So now we can see the extents of that surface in this drawing. This is where we're going to make the edits. Let's pull a surface profile now. I'll do that by selecting the secondary alignment and then I'll come up and choose Surface Profile. I want to create a surface profile through Primary Street Top. Let's click Add, and the style is going to be F dot proposed grade. That's perfect. I'm just going to come down and click OK. I don't need to click Draw on Profile View because I already have a profile view in this drawing for the secondary street alignment. Let's drag this over, and right here we can see this is where we are crossing, in this case underneath, the primary street road. So I need to make sure that I tie to the endpoints on either side. To do that, I'm going to select the proposed profile, and then I'm going to come up to Geometry Editor. This gives me access to the toolbar. Let's click to add a PVI, and I'm going to place this at the end point here. Okay, if this were a real-world example, you might have to make some adjustments to the geometry coming into this. Since this is a training example, I'm just going to say I know I need to tie right here. I will also add another PVI at the end point here. I'll press Escape when finished. So. Whatever's going on in this area, I don't care, because Primary Street is going to take care of that. What I know is that my proposed profile is going to meet right at the edge of the lane, and then it's going to pick up again right at the edge of the lane on the other side. Perfect. I can go ahead and close this. My profile is now done. Let's close the alignment drawing at this point. We'll save changes. This will return us to the corridor file. Here's where we're getting the notification that, hey, your data that was shortcutted in has been updated. Let's go ahead and synchronize. This synchronizes all of the data shortcuts in this file. I'm going to go ahead and clear all events. Let's close the panorama, and if we pull this over, we can see now the additional PVIs that we added. So at this point, we know that our proposed elevation for Secondary Street ties into Primary Street perfectly. In the next session, we will start building our corridor for this western approach.